Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy hump day. Um, we have some really cool stuff going on. So hopefully you will be able to watch the show. Um, we're making some really cool Easter stuff with one of our 50% off transfers. It's called He Is Not here. Good afternoon, Leslie. Hi, Jenny. Hello, hello. This is the transfer that I'm going to be using. Show that to you real quick. Oh, you can't see anything. Ha! You can't even see me. I thought I was showing you me. This is the one, and we're going to be using our blocks our wooden blocks it's called the block set and it is one of my favorite um surfaces because it's just such a blank slate you can do so much with them so as soon as i get them open i will show you what's happening the block set comes with three different solid blocks there's a four by four Kind of a four by six and like a four by ten, I think is what it is. Four by eleven. Really awesome. These are so much fun. Of course, they are, um, you can do them double sided too. So, likely, I'll do some Easter on one side and then we can do spring on the other side. So I'm going to grab some of my, um, some of our newest colors. Oh dear. Some of our newest colors because I want to get these kind of, and I think we'll go with Storm as our dark yeah, I think this will be really pretty. So I've pulled out my eggshell blue. You guys, this is one of our newer colors, our peachy keen, and then our storm. I think together these are going to be really pretty, very Eastery. Um, and what we're going to do is kind of prepare our surface first before we chalk on it. So I am going to. Um, you know, we can layer these any way you want, but often you can layer them like this or you can separate them. I'm going to go ahead and paint some of these backgrounds. Um, we're definitely going to do an eggshell blue, which is very much like a, a very light minty green. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Roseanne. Hello, Diane. Yeah, you can order the blocks without. Um, and um, the transfer, of course, is 50% off. But the blocks are just regular price. And if you ask me off the top of my head, I'm going to forget. But I want to say they're like 17 ish Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to do a light spray on the front of this, okay? And then, ooh la la, I'm going to grab my paintbrush. Okay, and I'm just going to take some of this eggshell and just kind of wash it on here. Oh, Bruno Moon. We had some groceries delivered, so he's like keeping an eye out on the front door. Which is new for me. I've never had groceries delivered before. Um, and I kind of like it. I like it a lot. All right, so very light coloring. 
This one we're gonna do in a different color. Same process though, get it wet. I'm gonna wash my brush in the water. Just make sure, it doesn't need to be saturated. Just a little wet. And we'll get our peachy keen and we're just gonna wash it over the white. Now, you certainly can make it darker. Um, I would do less water and more coats with your color if you want to do a more solid color than what, what I'm doing here. Okay, but this looks good. So, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it. It looks good. It's definitely just a subtle wash of those colors. Okay, so next, just gonna place these caps on. We're gonna dry this. So get my drying tool. Hi, Janet. Hi, Heather. It is sunny here, too. I was so excited. Um, Bruno is up there laying in the sun, basking in the sun, basically. So awesome. This won't take much to, to dry. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and comment the word VIP into the comments and I'll send you a welcome message in Messenger with a link to join my free DIY and crafting group, Creative Sarah at Home VIP Hangout. You'll get more ideas, inspiration, and of course, insider information for all the things that we do here at Creative Sarah at Home. If you guys did not happen to see the bundle that I did on Monday. It is a really cool inking bundle. We did two dish towels with the day drinker, um, the coffee and tea, coffee and tea um, day drinker transfer set. You'll get two towels, ink, an ink mat, of course the transfer, and the tools to create your two tea towels. Um, so uh, for a really awesome price, you can comment box. It's not this, it's the Monday's box. And if you wanna see how to do it, so you can order your kit, all you have to do is go back to Monday, which was March 13th, and you can watch that video quick, easy, um, tea towel video with the day drinker transfer set. So cute. We have about three left only. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim apart my transfer. One of the things I usually do with the, these is I do some sanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before we go any further. And I'm gonna grab my sanding, my sanding gadget here. Hold on. A little thing just fell off. So let me empty it out. Put it back on.
So I sanded those edges. It looks great now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. Me too, Wendy. I think it'll be, I think it's gonna turn out awesome. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna wipe these a little bit. And now we're gonna do, he has risen is going on the big one, of course. set that there. I am going to fuzz this. Oh, probably um, also going to um, I'm also going to uh, wax it. I forgot. Okay, so let's go ahead do some waxing. There we go. All waxed. It's a little bit heavy on the wax, so let me see if I can. Yeah, you don't really want to touch, you don't really want to, I think I know what's going on. Hold on. Let me go ahead and use the same one for this. That feels good. Might need just a tiny bit more to finish this one. So this one, I'm just gonna warm it up a slight bit, if I can. Who has plans for Friday night, St. Patty's Day? Does anybody do anything in particular? I saw in Chicago, that the river is green, all in, all in time for St. Patty's Day. I have been, I have seen the Green River at least once for St. Patty's Day. It was fun. All right, that feels good. Now, I can go ahead and Place this on there. I'm going to use our storm. He is risen. Here we go, and I'm just taking the chalk paste with my squeegee and I'm just spreading it across the silk screen. If you can spread butter on bread, you can do this. Very easy. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off in my water. and clean. So all of our products, um, a lot of our products are reusable. All of our transfers are reusable. You wash them and then let them dry and that sticky returns. You're going to put that backer sheet right back on the sticky side and you'll save it for later. 
Irish dinner for St. Patty's Day, yeah. Going out with my sister and some friends. I'm hoping to go out. Um, I, I put the bug in some friends' ears, so hopefully we can get something going. Okay, let's go ahead and swap this out. I'm going to do, um, oh, it does fit that way. He is not here. Okay, let's do this. I am fuzzing this a few times. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to... swap this or not but it looks like nope I thought maybe I would have to like put part of it on and then part of it below but it looks good awesome I'm gonna go ahead and dry this because I'm gonna add something to it do these um, right here but I'm curious if I put it in the eggshell if it will show up I think I might just do it in the I think I'm just gonna do it in in this We'll just keep our color on the background. There's one. And here is the other. Beautiful. Just drying it. Hi, Linda. Okay. Next, we're going to do... back on this. I forgot to do that on these. Okay. Um, fuzz. I'm going to fuzz this. I'm gonna raise this up a little and I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna do the cross. Then I'm gonna dry it. Make sure this is dry all the way. Hi, Mary. There are two good Easter candies out there, and I think I've told you what they are. They're the only ones I like. Pe Breezy's Peanut Butter Eggs and Cadbury Mini Eggs. They're the only two that, to me, are worth anything. 
<laughs> as far as candy goes. Now, I love chocolate. Um, but I love chocolate and peanut butter even more. Okay. Now, we're going to do the little... All right. Dad better be getting Ryan. Okay. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Make sure this is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these now real quick before I put it all together and do some embellishing. I will be doing that in just a second. Gotta clean these off and let them dry. takes about a second for each one. All right, you guys, those are cleaned. Come back over here. I'm gonna grab stay. I'm gonna grab out of here. Um this might work. I know I have gray, so I'm really looking. Oh, we've got some scraps here that might work. All right, let's try. Let's try that. I, hmm, yeah, here's my gray. All right, I know I have some gray. All right, we have some scraps here. This is hemp which it's pretty cool. What I like to do with it is I like to start unhinging it, you know? Like let it get all frayed, especially on the ends. It's just, you know, braided. So all you have to do is peel apart the layers you can go as far as you want with that. But that looks pretty cool. It's got black, brown, and like a gray in there. I've got, let me trim some of that down. Scraps go a long way, you guys. We also have some just gray burlap, which we don't need too, too much of it. We can kind of peel some of that off too. This is gonna go back in my scraps, and I've got my, I wanna close these so that they don't dry out. Oh, oy vey. Hi, Tiffany. Hello, hello. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. What I did, if you didn't catch the beginning, is I painted the, um, the medium block and the big block with some chalk paste and water. I used Peachy Keen on the biggest block for the background color and I used egg shell blue on this one and then I chalked in storm over it all right so I'm gonna take some gray jute and 
and I'm going to cut a big long piece because what I want to do is I want to I want to wrap it around a number of times. And just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. There we go. So we have several times wrapped and then I'm gonna take these things here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie it on. We'll do it. Oops, we'll do a double knot so that I know it's gonna stay in place. There we go. And then this one I'll trim and I'll unwind it a little bit to get those layers out there. Then you can kind of spread this out A little bit so you can see when I put this together this is what it's gonna look like is that cool let me see if I can zoom in a bit let's do it this way and I'll show you he is risen so you could Put these separately, or you can put them together. Just like that, and they stand perfectly, or if you were doing some sort of tiered tray, you could easily pop these into the different layers of the tiered tray as well. I love it, what do you guys think? What do you think? Oh, nope, that won't work. Cute? Yeah, super simple, easy to do. It took three colors. Um, we have the eggshell, peachy keen, and the storm. And you could, um, and then of course this is the block set. It's in the surfaces, so if you're looking for shopping, it's the surfaces. And the transfer is 50% off. So instead of $16, it's eight bucks, plus your surface is 15. If you already have chalk at home, that's all you need. So it's gonna be about, um, what did I say, the surface is 17. So, um, you know, 25 bucks, and you got this really cool thing. But remember what I said, double-sided. So then, after Easter, there's something on that. After Easter, you do the back of it with a spring, anything, florals or neutral or whatever you want. You put spring on there. So then, you're extending this for months, right? Um, because April is Easter. So April and May is still spring. We don't really turn into patriotic till the end of May. So honestly, you've got a long ways to go with this one piece of decor. What did I get on that? Something. But anyway, very cute, subtle. You can even use the same colors for the spring. Very neutral and easy. Sola flowers would be beautiful on the, yeah, 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 it would, especially because I already wound the string. So you could do a big one here um, and then you can do whatever you want on the other ones. But yeah, great ideas, super easy. I hope you loved it. Uh, tomorrow, make sure you watch my video 8 p.m. I'll be live with jewelry at 7 p.m. And Friday, I'll be back live at 2 p.m. all Eastern time. Awesome sauce, you guys. Awesome sauce. I, um, I'm, my hands are dying. 
Ch Do you know how much chalk dries out your hands? Um, my hands are dying because the jewelry bombs are like chalky. This is chalky washing the stuff. Um, did I ever tell you this one time when I went to have my fingerprints done? They were like, you have the fingerprints of like a 90-year-old woman. What do you do? How did you wear away your fingerprints? Mm, it's from chalk. Chalk and paper. All right. Anyway, I digress. You guys have a great rest of your afternoon, and I will see you tomorrow night. Bye, guys.